you were hospitalized unexpectedly for 30 days and had no contact with your team, your business at all, what would happen to your business? The answer to that is like most people would say, my business would either completely halt or it would die or, well, we would hang on there, but it would last longer than 30 days. Mm -hmm. Those are all indications that you've built a job that relies upon you to be there. And you just happen to be the most important cog in that wheel. And everybody relies on you. That is building and owning a job, not building and owning a business. When Steve Jobs Mm -hmm. passed away, Apple carried on and didn't miss a lick because he understood, even though he was the founder, that at some point he had to move out of owner operator into what we, I refer to as owner investor. I believe there are three tiers in the entrepreneurial evolution. There's owner operator, which is tier one, owner manager, which is tier two, and then owner investor. Very few people move into the owner investor. Yeah, I can tell you this, there are no billionaire owner operators. They just don't Mm -hmm. exist. Those billionaires have (laughs) moved up to tier three where they're in, they're the owner investor of the business. Steve Jobs built something that outlasted him, but the guy who runs the you know, the Amazon store online or the e-commerce store, the guy that runs the gun shop down the way or the ice cream store, or the, the, the dress shop downtown, like we're never going to know who these people are because they've built a job. It's a built around the business, of course, and their names on the line, mm-hmm. on the line, but it's just a job. And if you want that, mm-hmm. that's fine. But I believe yeah. that business ownership, the point of business ownership isn't about owning the business. It's about owning something that provides you the financial resources to live the lifestyle that you desire. Yeah, I I think, you know, you saying like, if if you want to be an owner operator, that's fine. But I think the part that people don't realize, you know, like, hey, I'm going to start a business. I love video and I'm going to start this business. But we probably didn't own a business before. So this is probably our first real business. As soon as you know that there's uh, there is a different way because I think a lot of people would just think like, yeah, I'm just like, I'll do this and do it forever. But like to know that you could be an owner operator or you can be an owner manager or you can be an owner investor for the person who's sitting here now, like, oh my gosh, like there's another way. Like, tell me more about this, Jason, like somebody to move out of this owner operator. If, if they're, if they've done it long enough or they're like, oh my gosh, like I need to get out or, you know, whatever, like what, what is the path? Well, an owner operator is focused on activity and revenue. That's what they're focused on. So every day they show up, it's activity, 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 do activity. And then let's focus on revenue, revenue, revenue. They're not focused on anything other than those two things. An owner manager to move up is you have to f- start focusing on systems. You have to start focusing on the automation of your business. That's what owner managers start doing. So they do have systems. They have employees. They have systems put in place. That the employees run. And that gets them out of having to manage the activity, but they're still focused on revenue. Got to get revenue, revenue, revenue. An owner investor starts focusing on asset over activity and asset over revenue because they understand now that the business is worth something more than just an annual revenue number. There's actual asset value. The law of the architect tells us that our sole role as an architect of the business is to set the vision, communicate the vision, and build the asset. That's it. Anything outside of that, Mm. other people should be doing because the business is an asset. Their business should have value outside of you. That's the biggest thing. So as an owner operator, you're focused on activity and you're focused on revenue. An owner investor is focused on asset. They're not focused on revenue. They're focused on building an asset.